Oh. Uh, welcome back. And I accidentally reset. <laughs> oh well. Um, last time. Oh, well, how do I usually start videos? Welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing with the GameCube. Last time we paid off debt, discussed some stuff. No, we, we didn't pay off debt, we just got a basement. That was all we did. Um, and we also just basically talked about, you know, various different stuff. It was a really slow episode, I'll just put it that way. Um, so today we're gonna go over perfect town requirements. Which is kind of difficult in the Lego games. It's actually easier in this game, from what I gather. Um, also, later on, if something I forgot to mention, but I would say is sometimes it'll make you actually type out sayings like "I will not reset," stuff like that, and it has to be like case perfect. So it's actually harder than it should be, uh, but that's besides the point. Tad also buried something. E2 and F, so keep an eye on those two areas. E2 is this one. So we need to go to the museum anyway, so we might as well. Because the museum is actually right where we want to be. It's like right at the wishing well, so... Also, we don't have in the past with toy so as far as we know in the museum. Uh, I think we have the other two though. So E2. And you're new. Petals, good morning to you. I'm Petals. Yes, indeed. So, like, who are you? Like, who are you? That's always a good sign. Okay, so we have a pretty full town now. Which is actually kind of nice, having a full town. Okay. Do you see? We'll talk to her later. So, this is where Pew buried something, apparently. I'm not seeing it. It's probably. Oh. By this pitfall. That kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> Pitfalls! Yeah, we went over those already. Uh, okay, wishing well. Up here is the wishing well. Uh, talk to the wishing well. You can't actually throw money in, oddly enough. In areas where there is very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to acre A1 and see what is amiss. So you heard the uh, fountain. Let's go to A1. Take out that weed. My character is getting really tan. Uh, I think you can actually use an umbrella to sort of get around that on sunny days. So if you want to keep a certain skin t uh, color t because of representation or personal preference, then you can do that. So we are now in A1. So, what you do is you count the trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, that's not good. <laughs> that is actually really not good. Um, I think you need somewhere between... Okay, let's just stop ourselves for a moment and just go through all the requirements in order. Um, it's really convoluted and a little bit obtuse. So, bear with me for now. It's like, you need, I think, 16 trees, a certain amount of flowers, like, 3 or 4 flowers at the minimum. Uh, and also, no weeds. Also, the, the trickiest thing is, trees cannot be adjacent to one another. So, like, this tree here, it's gotta go. Sorry, tree. You have to go. Uh, yeah, adjacent trees, not good. So those are base, the base requirements, and then you actually have to plant stuff. So, uh, this game is actually a little bit confusing because you do have trees sort of overlapping, like this one right here. Um, I think that counts in this one because this is the acre where you actually can interact with it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. That's totally a hunch. What's in here? Money. Uh, I had a lot more money than I thought, apparently. Threw that away. What's in here? Pressy. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, that's just leather for now. Actually, I should just write another leather. Because we're gonna probably find a fossil, anyways, so might as well. Okay, so what you do 
is basically just try to keep a counter going. And this is actually a very tedious process because you can only see if a plant's gonna live if after a few days it starts actually growing. So this takes a while. Fair warning, this actually takes quite a long time. Uh, because you can only plant a certain amount and actually have it grow. And this game seems to have a worth growth, worse growth rate than other Animal Crossings, where stuff dies really easily in this game. Like, in terms of plants, they die really fast. Uh, so adjacent, so like that, would technically not count as adjacent because it's not directly next to it. Uh, are these two? No. So basically, once you get to like nine, I think the sites I was looking at, but it was like a game fax. So take it with a grain of salt. So it's like about nine to sixteen trees and a certain amount of flowers. So, um, actually, we should just kill two birds with one stone. Um, I actually got money off screen because of uh, just wanting to circumvent some stuff. I do not want to hit the post office with a shovel. I want to go inside. And let's pay off the debt. After mailing a letter. Because why not? Okay. Nope. Do not have anything more to mail. I just want to deposit money. I also forgot to show the second clerk like I said it would. So that was my bad. Uh, if I remember next Sunday. Saturday. Okay, loan repaid yet again. I actually also rescind what I said last time. Not rescind. Actually, that is take back. Never mind. I do take back what I said last time. The next one is the last upgrade. So, we are almost debt free. Um, I used a lot of codes uh, to get this far because of basically uh, wanting to speed up getting to the last house. But this one, since it's the last, we're not going to really do codes anymore just because, well, to put it bluntly, we basically have all the upgrades we can get at this point, so we don't really need to hurry to pay out the next set. Plus, it's also like 800,000 bells, so it's gonna take a while. Um, so, now that we paid off debt and also did all that, we need to go talk to Nook. Also, every time I'll see- every time I see an adjacent set of trees, I'm just gonna chop down. Uh, just to save us some time a little bit later on. Uh, take out this one because it is adjacent to two, actually. It's just not something you see every day. Uh, also this requirement was taken out in later games. You cannot actually have adjacent trees in later games, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'm gonna move this one. I don't know if that counts. It's adjacent to something, so... Um... A lot of this is gonna happen off-screen. All the planting and stuff. I'm gonna plant a ton off-screen after finishing up probably tomorrow. Oh boy, mighty grateful I couldn't be more full of great. So I suppose that means what I think it means. Yes, I know the way your mind works, my good friend. You're looking to get yourself a bigger house, aren't you? Don't be ashamed, you can't stop progress. Um, build up. Second floor. Hefty price tag, please. Okay. Tell me, what color? Also, you can change the roof at any time at the next upgrade. Or is it the one after that? Like, there's a, a, well, there's one point in this game where you can actually basically um, change your roof color at any time, but I don't remember if it's the next door or the one after that. So this is not something you see every day, it's a Luigi shirt. Oddly enough, the Luigi shirt doesn't actually have like a Luigi pattern like you would expect, it's just an L. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, to be fair. I'm kind of going through for that. I'm kind of going for a blue room, so I might as well buy this. Uh, and it's tape deck that he still can't sell, apparently. I'm gonna buy a second axe, which you may be wondering, why are you buying a second axe? And I have my reasons for buying a second axe. Um, if you've played Animal Crossing before, you'll know the reason I'm breaking. I'm buying another axe because they can break. That's what I'm trying to say, except my brain is not working today. Um, ouch. We bought way too much. Might as well stash this because we don't need it quite 
forget. Stash this just so I don't accidentally sell it. And then go buy some stuff. That's a red tulip. So all these flowers are 120 bells a piece. So that's easy to keep straight. Um, I actually dislike how you can't move flowers in this game. Because sometimes just the game will put it in a place where you don't want it. But you can't change it because of the game. Um, so yeah, that's one of my gripes with this version. But on the whole, this game holds up pretty solidly. That doesn't make any sense. This whole game holds up pretty well, I would say. Um, a few little nitpicks here and there, but nothing too substantial. And also a little thing you can do is just, you know, plant flowers. Get them out of your inventory. Uh, this area is looking kind of not so good actually, so you just go one by one. But the problem is you have to wait till the plants actually start growing, so it's like a... It's a five by five. No, wait a minute, five by six area. So like 30 days. <laughs> because you have to wait for everything to start sprouting before he'll tell you more, as far as I'm aware. Uh, this is actually one of the harder spots, the post office, because there's not a whole lot of room to maneuver. Um, I just have distinct memories of this actually being a pretty difficult space to plant trees, so that is why I'm planting flowers instead. Uh, I think they do stack? I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure on that. Um, I don't know if it's gonna grow here, to be honest. Um, <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Yeah, this is just gonna be a gardening day. Um, I should now go over what you get for it. If you manage to maintain a perfect town, which has other requirements in addition to just certain amounts of trees, um, you have to basically make sure there aren't more than, I think, 30 weeds in the town, period, and not any more than, um, I think 10, uh, no, 3 weeds per acre. So if you can meet all those, the, the weed count, like, keep basically the weeds at bay, uh, and also have a perfect town setup, you will basically get a golden axe. As we said, the axe will break, so the golden axe will never break. So that's what's special about it. Um, okay, bury that. I think there's also a priority system in place for the guy's me the uh, not the guy, the Wells' mes- that the Wells' messages. Um, that like, overgrown areas, I think, I mean, I think under- Grown areas, I guess you could call it. I think take priority over overgrown, which I think takes priority over over just a lot of there being weeds because that's easy to deal with, and so on. So yeah, I think there's a system of priority, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, um, because I don't really get the overgrown message very often, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, you just go through. This is gonna be like the entire LP. Real probably hopefully get a golden axe by the very end but it'll probably be a while long process in any case we went over some of the requirements for the perfect town uh went over the rewards for a perfect town and also paid off even more debt and we're going to get our final house upgrade next time so thank you for watching i hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing for the GameCube.